Do you know what you're looking at me through right now? Do you know what this thing is? Not not the camera. The, your, this, the reflection. This is an old CRT monitor. And you know what it does? Plays games, makes them pretty, and runs really fast, okay? So if you want to do that, well, I'm, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. I didn't actually stop the camera. Hold on. So what are the main benefits to using a CRT monitor? Why would you want to use that in this day and age, okay? Like this thing is pretty old. It's pretty heavy. A lot of people kind of just toss them. I actually got this. I don't even know if I bought it. I think I just got it for free. And this thing is so good. Let me run through the specs. Now, if you want to follow along with this, you could probably get a lot of life out of your CRT monitor as well. If you don't really know what you're doing, hopefully this will help you out. I don't know if you'll be able to actually find a spec sheet or not. If you can, it's a great starting point to be able to actually start overclocking and messing with some stuff. So by default, the native resolution on this is 1800 by 1440 okay that's the 4x3 equivalent of 1440p now right now you may not even be watching this video on a 1440p monitor or tv or what have you okay that's that's really high a lot 1080 is pretty much like the normal thing and that hasn't even been normal for all that long for as long as this monitor has been around right like that's that's a ton of pixels let me I actually i want to do the math real quick look at that difference there's almost 500,000 more pixels in this of like better resolution or whatever you want to call it compared to a 1080p panel okay so this thing clearly pretty nice in that regard now you are probably going to see these hertz these refresh rates and be like that's kind of weird 73 now a lot of these are actually going to run on interlace now i'm going to show you how to take I'm just taking, let me scroll down, I'll show you. This comes with a VGA. I just have a crappy VGA to HDMI adapter, plugging it into my computer, no special hardware. I have a normal, I have a 1080 Ti, you don't need 1080 Ti. I'm just saying I don't have a VGA port on it that I'm using. You don't need anything special like that. And you can actually get interlaced on a CRT monitor, which if you don't know, interlaced and even lower resolutions display kind of different on a CRT monitor versus a normal monitor. On a normal monitor, you probably wouldn't want to do that. But on here, they actually look pretty good. So what I'm actually going to do is one benefit I love over my old monitors anyway. I have some higher refresh rate monitors now kind of because of this is if I go to 1024 by 768 resolution, and I swap it to interlaced, I can get up to 118 hertz. So the monitor can display 118 frames per second. Now let me show you, well, I, I won't show you what that looks like, but I'll, because the camera can't show it off, but <laughs> I'm gonna show you it, okay? <laughs> so here we are, we're in Doom. Now I have V-Sync on, let me show you video, 1024, 760, yeah, I have V-Sync on, so that means it's locked to whatever my monitor's spitting out. I'm not going to get higher frames than that. Uh, so, that's how you know it's actually set up like that. And, as you can see, now, I can actually, in monitor, change these bezels if I want, but they kind of warp around depending on the resolution, and I play with it a lot, so I'm, I'm, unless I'm sticking to one for a while, I'm not really going to change it, but I mean, as you can see, we're definitely hitting it, and I will tell you, this feels very smooth, okay? But, let me show you how to actually do it. Right before we jump back into it, I am just going to show you all the different kinds of stuff. So essentially what this means is I would try this as a starting point. Um, so I would go in, which I'll show you, and I would try to make it where you could run. The one we're going to do is uh, 1024 by 768, 118 hertz. If you want higher res and faster, uh, like if you want the full res, you can do 1800 by 1400. And I mean... You can do 73, you can do 60, you can do whatever you want. If you want like a good middle ground, you can do 1280 by 1024, you can get 100 hertz, that's still really good. Or uh, I think somewhere in the middle, you might be able to get uh, 90, maybe even, I don't know. It's, it's definitely something to play around with because we are kind of doing this weird analog to digital stuff. But anyway, 
let me show you how to actually do it. It's kind of complicated, and I always forget. So, at the very least, if this video doesn't help you, which hopefully it will, but if not, you know, feel free to leave me a comment. Maybe I can make a follow-up. Um, at the very least, it'll help me, because I always forget this stuff. It's actually, like, really complicated. But, now it won't be, because I won't forget. So, <laughs> what you'll do is you'll want to open up... I have an NVIDIA card, so I'm going to open my NVIDIA control panel. Unfortunately, I can't walk you picture by picture, frame by frame for an AMD card, but hopefully this will be pretty similar. So literally just right click on your desktop, open NVIDIA control panel, assuming you have like drivers and stuff, which hopefully you're running that. And then I will go ahead and once you have a resolution selected, which we obviously do because our monitor's on, you'll go to customize and create a custom resolution. Now in here, and I'll just edit this one and show you, you put in horizontal pixels by vertical, change the refresh rate, and then do interlaced, okay? And then you just hit test and it'll flicker. And once you've done that, it'll be added to this list. Now, sometimes it pops up on here. Sometimes it doesn't, I don't know why, but I know a way to fix it. That was my biggest issue, was stumbling into getting it to pop up here. Also, another thing, very handy, refresh rate. You go, huh, 59, that's not right. Well, it is right because this is showing what it's running at as a progressive manner, whereas interlace display is kind of, I don't know the technical term. Anyway, I won't guess on what it is, but it's it's literally, it's just double, right? So this is only going to tell you your progressive refresh rate, but we're doing interlaced, so we're doing what's half of 118, 59. Okay, so, so how you actually do this is once you've done the NVIDIA stuff, you want to go into display settings. And from there, I'll pick my monitor. I will go, as you can see, right resolution still not working. Well, we'll pretend it wasn't working. If it isn't working, you'll follow through this. We'll go to advanced display settings. Here's my monitor, advanced display properties, which will open up my graphics card. Now from here, you could go here assuming that it's actually listed if it's not there's another way to do it but yeah under here you'll pick and it actually says on here interlaced which is nice and weird that the nvidia one isn't like quite as good i don't know but so from here you can go into here and even tweak with stuff if you have to but hopefully we don't have to get to that point you just hit list all modes and i'll show you every single thing you can display that it has on by default and then custom ones will pop up here too so all you do is you go oh this is it interlaced you hit okay and you're good to go it'll just swap on over to it and if it didn't you can just go here so i'll actually walk through me setting up a new one and make sure that you guys got it Now I am going to try one that I think will be really hard to run and we'll see if I can actually get an error and show you kind of what happens if the monitor isn't able to take it. Now these things are getting older and sometimes they don't run quite as well as they did out of the box. So we very well may not be able to actually get all of the power out of it that we could have whenever this thing was new. And that's the unfortunate thing about these things is they aren't being made anymore. So eventually they're just going to give out. I don't know if Doom's just having trouble displaying the resolution or what's happening, but I went to the next step down, and this is set at 1600 by 1200, and this is set at progressive 75, which obviously it can't run, and this is what it looks like when it can't run. Just a lot of the black stuff just turns really green and weird, and you probably don't want to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and change these settings real quick and just see the most I can get out of this resolution all right so let's see if the resolution actually works also a thing to note is in the top right 60 that will tell you absolutely nothing the menus are locked to 60 so if you're worried about that don't be that's normal so now we want to oh we're actually already at the resolution so hopefully fingers crossed we just boot in and it just works now will that be the case i don't know Maybe, maybe it will. Maybe it'll just work. Maybe it'll be great. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll be awful. Maybe the res won't work. Maybe everything will be all green. We'll find out. Look at that, 87 frames per second. 
Oh my gosh, it worked. It totally worked. It worked exactly how it would. Okay, so this monitor is actually held up really well. It could still be clocked at exactly what it was rated on the spec sheet, which is so nice. Again, that very well may not be the case for you at all. And I just want to say, playing at 87 frames per second at this resolution, really nice. Looks really smooth. And again, this is interlaced. And as you can tell, it doesn't look like garbage. Whereas if you did that on my other monitor... It would not be a good time. Also, I don't have audio for some reason. So, um, you know, I'm kind of just shooting. But yeah, that's really it. I mean, I, I think that's it. I don't think I, I need to show anything else off. That's how you change your monitor settings. Make sure it all works. How to use your CRT on modern games. I'd love to show off, like, just, just showcase what games work well for a CRT and what games do not. Like, try to play, like, I don't know, like, Fortnite or Apex Legends or... I don't know, uh, Dota, uh, League of Legends, you know, so something. Like, just really get into some modern stuff and see how well this actually holds up for playing normal games. Like, Overwatch, Rainbow Six, you know, just, just those multiplayer shooters or stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure this would do really well for casual games. I bet this would do really well for some throwback games, too. I need to get, like, Ion Fury and stuff like that and see how those play. Or even, I could just literally play old games on here. Um, some Duke Nukem 3D, dude, that is, that is my game. So yeah, hopefully that helped you guys out. It definitely will help me out in the future, because I'm sure I will forget this, and let me know if you have any struggles. Also, AMD users, how does it differ? Is it pretty much the same, or do I need to make a follow-up tutorial just for AMD? I have no idea, but hopefully you do. Alright, bye. <laughs> okay, bye.